Hey guys we should take a break and go to Bonta. That's right, they say it is a beautiful city. That's right, welcome to Bonta. Oh guys this is awesome. We should just wander off a while, it has been a long journey so far with all these monsters. Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Galbert once more bringing you some new content to the channel. In this episode, well, as you could see in the thumbnail, we will upgrade the gear again. Yes sir, finally, we will get something a little bit better. As you can see, I have uh, some money left over after paying the subscription and stuff. I've been uh, making some more cameras and stuff to make uh, the new set because I didn't really want to buy it. I'm going to show you that in no time. So here, I was basically getting to know Bonta. And I'm showing you here a list of resources that I needed to get in order to craft the gear. Because as I told you before, I'm going to make it myself. Remember that I was leveling up my professions. Uh, most of them all up to level 60 for this precise reason because I really wanted to craft my own set so um, I bought most of the resources um, I crafted some others like the ebonates and stuff but I realized that I was missing a resource so you will see that I'm gonna drop it as you can see here, I was crafting the pieces of the set, uh, the boots, the belts, the rings, the amulets, I mean everything. I didn't pay for crafting sessions, I just did it. And if you really want to make some money, um, I encourage you to level up the professions because, I mean, sometimes people are desperate and they need a tailor or a jeweler or something like that and they will pay you like 10,000 camas just by crafting something that's easy money right so as you can see here I was uh, now crafting the jewels talking about the necklaces and the rings as well as um, the weapons and I'm gonna show you the sets in no time so as you can see here, I had all the pieces. I was just missing the hats, but I didn't have the resources to craft those. So I needed to stop for a while. And I spent around 1 million camas in all the sets, mostly because of the shields and the trophies, because the sets themselves took me like, uh, I would say 300 thousand camas or something like that not so much to be honest I thought it was gonna be a little bit more expensive but well it was not that expensive now talking about the helper match it is now um, multi-elemental which means that I can use water air fire and earth all of them because i think that if you have a hopper match and if you don't have like more than one element mm, you're not really you know taking advantage of the class itself i mean these ones are really really good when it comes to various elements so i decided to make it multi now as you can see here, I was buying the shields. I thought in crafting them, but I... Nah. It's too expensive to level up uh, the profession. So, here we got the sets. If you want to take a look, just pause the video. If you want me to explain you something, just let me know in the comments. For that, um, I use Dofu's tools the website um, the resource that I was missing here was these uh, red shells of the turtles so I needed to go to moon I needed to wear hat and wings and <laughs> enter to the cannon 
So as you can see here, I was just grinding the turtles and the monsters at the beach of moon. <clears throat> oh my god, sorry. I'm not editing that. <laughs> That's just me. Alright, so yeah. Um, I just killed a good couple of monsters. Mostly the red turtles because I needed 16 shells. As you can see here, I got the achievement and I got more than enough, which means that now we can get some profit out of it and sell the rest. So you will see that I actually got 30 or actually more than 30, I think. And then I decided to go for the rest of the monsters of the island to get the achievement. Now here, I was just kind of showing you that all the equipment I made to level up my professions was destroyed here at the Pac-Man. Just to get some runes out of it, you know. I didn't really get much of a, you know, not really many runes. It was not really worth it. As you can see here, it was like 150,000 camas worth and runes, which is, oh, well, not a lot. Considering that I really, really, really wanted to level up my mages. That's on the plans. And, uh, well, I thought that I could get more out of those items, but they were not so good. So, right after that, I crafted the hat. I decided to use these ones because of the AP. And then I came back to Sufokia because I wanted to get the achievement of exploration at Brackmer. And, well, why Sufokia? Because at Sufokia, you will find a ship that will take you to Brackmer. Now, it's not going to be free. He's going to charge you 300 camas as far as I know. But it's still cheaper than the potion. I was a little bit stingy at this point because I really needed the money to keep um, making my set and the rest of the pieces. Or, well, better said, uh, maging the pieces of gear because I already got everything. And remember that I also needed the Dragon Turkeys. So I needed to save a little bit of money. With this, I just came to the pirate or I don't know, this man. I talked to him 300 camas to get to Bragmer. And then I just got the achievement by uh, meeting all the places around. Then I wanted to continue the quest of the dungeons, so I decided to go and visit the key master. For that, he, I mean, the best thing, the best way to go there is by going to Tainella and walking up there. Sorry. Then you talk to him again, and um, Belina actually sent us to the ghost dungeon. So as you can see here, we enter because we were really close. And I'm just showing you the last fight. Of course, I increased the, X, uh, the speed because um, this was a kind of a boring combat, to be honest. And I don't know, I'm still thinking about maybe showing you this combat like not to record it and then talk about it, but I don't know. I think it could be better that it was more natural. So let me know what you think in the comments. If something like a, I don't know, playthrough or something like that. I was thinking about that fact. But anyways, I will try it sooner or later. Then you've got this one, most of the achievements out of it. In fact, I only needed to get Duo now. And for that reason, it was that long. But after that, I did it again and I got Duo. Then we talk to Belina once more and she gives us a little bit of cash. And assign us 
and know the quest. Now, the key master asks us to go to the Chaffer's or Skeleton's dungeon. And the fastest way to get there if you don't have the saps is by going to Astrop and talking to this person. And then you will go to the Rogue's Temple. That is really, really easy. It's only going to cost you like 50 camas per character. That's that's cheap enough. Then you need to step on this tile. And you will open a secret passage to the skeleton dungeon. Now, this dungeon is not so funny. Because, I mean, the skeletons are not difficult but a little bit annoying and as you can see with the experience I got from the ghost dungeon I could now use my Dragatur key you could see in the previous pictures that I was using different Dragatur keys for the um, characters but actually I decided to use this one because it grants me perspection and power which is a little bit better than you know just an element I think it's worth it and the reason why I'm using the perspection one is because of my type of gaming I like to drop stuff and then sell it so I will need a lot of perspection on it as you can see here I did all the achievements on this dungeon too it was really easy not really messy and then I did it again and I got the duo as well as you can see in this picture yes I'm doing the duo and all of them because it gets me some cash now the next step was to reunite all the cash I got from the dungeons and start leveling up the mages because I mean the sets were good they were okay but as you can see the vitality was not really good so I really really needed to get um, this kind of uh, stuff like you can see here I made a couple of things these ones were just to level up but then I just decided to sell them like this hat over here as you can see it took me several uh, shots to do it but in the end I could mage it to something really really good and I sold it for about 70,000 camas or something like that so that's what I really like about this the last one because now I was level 60 was this bag because I don't know if you know this but they are really really expensive I actually sold this one for 100 18,000 camas if I remember well so if you really want to make some camas in your low level if you don't have a lot of camas to invest maging could be something really good for you believe it or not so after that I just started maging my own set I started with the hat because I really needed more vitality it was expensive I'm not gonna lie maging is expensive mostly if you're maging yourself I mean your own stuff because I don't know about you but I'm a little bit uh, ambitious sometimes and I really like my things to be perfect or really near to perfection when it comes to maging gear and uh, for that reason it took me so long I was trying to get the AP out of the item and um, I don't know if you guys want me to explain to you how maging works but I'm planning on uploading a guide in which I'm gonna show you how to level up mage professions as well as explaining you how you know magic works when it comes to gear I know there's a lot of videos about this on YouTube but let's be honest there's a lot of videos about everything these days I just would like to show you my style explaining that one so 
uh, wait for that one because I'm still preparing it so as you can see here then I went with the cape um, I thought about getting vitality on this one but then I decided that I really needed more chance in instead so most of the items will not be matched to vitality but over matched to chance agility intelligence or strength because I thought that a glass cannon could be better than just a tank I mean the harder you hit the quicker you will finish a combat therefore I mean your enemies will not kill you right if you kill them first <laughs> that's exactly what I thought and then well as you can see here the cape is now 40 chance 1 MP look at that vitality look at another cape with 40 chance there's another one here with the weapons because I level that up as well now we are we have hunting weapons which is really good and then I decided to test the gear after imagining it just by completing one of the most difficult duos by this level which is the Tophus and not because the dungeon itself is so difficult but because I mean these ones are tricky since they escape a lot therefore you can't really get to them and make enough damage but having enough MP and AP was key to this combat as you can see and uh, another thing that really helped me out was the classes because this ram has a lot of mobility as well as the hopper mage I mean I can jump I can teleport I can give myself MP with uh, the spells I have so it was not that difficult at all but mostly because of the set I didn't really have a normal set I had an over mage set which is absolutely fantastic and well I'm gonna leave you with the combat I hope you enjoy it and I'll be back soon All right, after that I talk to Mambo Jumbo because now we don't talk to the key master but to Mambo and I went to the Kawaka Kawaka to the birds dungeon. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that one. Now, I got to tell you that this dungeon I think it doesn't really matter if you're high level low level and game level this dungeon is a mess not just because 
of the birds itself, but because of the boss. It's really annoying. It has a lot of resistance. And the fact that you need to get the achievements and they are really, 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 really boring or difficult, let's say. It's something, well, you need to be patient if you want to go to this dungeon. I think it's one of the dungeons that no one really likes. I don't know. I don't really like it. But anyways, here you have it. And... Uh, I really needed to get challenges all over the fourth, first um, rooms because there is a challenge that can only be completed here with the monsters um, that are here. So I got it, all the achievements and stuff, which is really good. And then I started like the longest combat in the world. Just because I was trying to get all three achievements at the same time, which was nuts. But, I mean, if you need to try more than one time, you will see that you will get to know the monsters. You will get to know how they move and stuff like that. And it's not going to be that difficult once you see how they behave, how they really, they don't think, but you know, the uh, artificial intelligence actually thinks a little, so yeah, just give it a try, because sometimes we don't have like enough keys to do the dungeon three or four times, sometimes we don't even have the time to do it three or four times, or sometimes we are just bored and we don't really want to do the dungeon many times and I mean it's not worth it it's just not worth it <laughs> you, do you want me to lie no it's not worth it if you can do something I mean if you can do all three achievements in just one run just do it and if you can't try again and try again and try again Remember that Duffus is a strategy game, which means that sometimes you will win, sometimes you will lose. Some other times you will win, but you will not complete all the achievements. And sometimes you will be in a position in which you will lose and you will think that you will uh, win the battle. And that's annoying because you feel it's so close and suddenly poof, they kill you. <laughs> but well, this was uh, an interesting combat. Not so funny, but interesting. I can assure you that. I really liked it. I would do it again. Yep. Why not? Maybe with different characters. But as you can see... I'm now getting to know a little bit better my characters. Remember that this was the actual first time I played with this team. And I feel that I'm improving a lot. As you can see here, I handled it pretty well. No one died. And so, here you have it. The Kewakas Dungeon. There you go. Oh my god, it took forever. <laughs> forever. Then you come back to Belina. And another level. Yes, sir. And she's gonna tell you that you need to keep looking for the offices and stuff like that. You will need to go to another dungeon and meet all the mines. Okay. That was it. That was the end of the video. I just wanted to update a little bit of what's going on in here. And guys, thank you again. Thank you very much for all the support you have been giving me. I know that I'm not famous at all. But those 39 people that are watching my videos... I mean, the ones that are subscribed make me happy. But the other ones that 
<laughs> don't really want to subscribe make me happy as well so thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you liked the video don't forget to let me know if you didn't like something because I may change it I might not I don't know who knows but um, if it's something bad I will change it for sure so thank you very much hey are you subscribed already come on just do it do it subscribe to the channel <laughs> goodbye